I want to thank everybody for being here this morning. It's always great to, uh, to see so many people at, at City Hall. It's a special day for those um, of Lithuanian heritage. I also, before I get into it, I also want to wish each and every one of you happy Valentine's Day. So it's a, it's a, it's a, a daily double today. It's great to see Sister Helen here as well. And, you know, I'm an Irish guy, but um, I truly, truly love and respect the Lithuanian culture. I'll tell you why. Uh, for over a decade, I've been the attorney for the Sisters of Jesus Crucified and Sorrowful Mother on Thatcher Street. Um, most of the sisters are Lithuanian or Lithuanian background, and um, they've shared so many stories with me over the years, and it's just a, it's a great culture, and I really want to thank everybody. It's an honor uh, that you're all here today. I do want to recognize State Representative Michelle Dubois for being here today. Thank you. I want to thank my uh, fellow uh, local officials, uh, Councilor at Large Rita Mendez. Thank you for being here, Councilor. <laughs> City Councilor Jeff Thompson and Attorney Thompson, thank you for being here. I know that City Councilor Jack Lally texted me. He's running a little late, and uh, unfortunately, the city. Clap. <laughs> I know that. Um, the Ward 7 and current City Council President Shirley Azak is under the weather today, but she wanted to pass on her best for everybody here today. It is a special day. This is my first uh, flag ceremony as the mayor of the city of Brockton. I've been, been to many of these, but I know uh, this is always going to be remembered as the first for me and hopefully many, many more. But again, I want to thank you. I do have a proclamation. Um, we are then going to uh, have uh, the National Anthem of America sung and then the National Anthem of Lithuania, and at the time that it's sung, then John Drzezinsk is going to raise the flag. After the flag is raised, I encourage everybody, please stay. Really, really envelop yourself in the wonderful culture and the, and the, um, the materials that are here. It means so much. So that being said... Absolutely. Yeah. No, no, they don't have to be brief as long as you want. Yeah. <laughs> The proclamation from the city, uh, city of Brockton and the mayor. Whereas in 1795, the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth was dissolved and divided by Prussia and Austria, the majority of Lithuania was, was placed under Russian rule. With the end of World War I and the fall of the Russian Empire, L Lithuania declared her independence on February 16, 1918. Whereas during the 1940s, Lithuania was occupied by the Soviet Union and later by, the, by Germany. By the end of the decade, Lithuania returned to a Soviet occupation and lived under communism for more than 50 years. Whereas on March 11, 1990, Lithuania became the first Soviet Republic to declare its independence. Whereas a vibrant Lithuanian-American community has made tremendous, tremendous contributions to the city of Brockton and the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Now, therefore, I, Robert F. Sullivan, as mayor of the city of Brockton, do hereby declare and proclaim February 16th, 2020, as Lithuanian uh, Independence Day here in the city of Brockton, recognizing the wonderful contributions the Lithuanian culture has made to the city of champions. Thank you very much. I just want to do a caveat also. I urge all residents of the city of Brockton, those of Lithuanian background and those not, to join me today in observing this special day and recognizing what the Lithuanian culture means to our community. Again, thank you again for being here, and I'm not sure who I'd like to give this to, but please come up. A few more remarks, please. We're having the um, anthems now? Yes. All right, please stand and join in singing the national anthem of the United States. <clears throat> oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming in the rocket's red the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was 
are still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the seat everybody. Thank you all for coming. Thank you Mayor Sullivan. Thank you very much. Honored guests, fellow Knights of Lithuania and dear Brocktonians, on behalf of the Knights of Lithuania Council One, I want to thank you for this opportunity once again to recognize Lithuanian Independence Day, February 16th, the day the Republic of Lithuania was established. It reminds us of the struggle so many even today face in countries around the world who repress and subjugate their citizens, preventing them from freely exercising their right to free speech, right to vote, or right to practice their religion. And many members of the community of Brockton have fleed such regimes. We are truly blessed here in the United States that we have so many constitutional rights to protect us. We pray that soon people in all countries can have the many freedoms we take for granted here. The Knights of Lithuania motto is for God and country, and several generations of Lith Americans of Lithuanian ancestry have protected this country and supported the people of Lithuania in their struggle to restore their independence from the Soviet Union, which we can proudly say happened in 1991. The Knights of Lithuania will celebrate 107th years. So it's their 107th anniversary this summer at our annual national convention. What a long-lived organization. And its first council was established here in Brockton in 1913 in the parish hall of St. Rocco Church, which was later renamed St. Casimir in the 1950s. It is always a source of pride when somebody says, Oh, my grandfather or grandmother or uncle's wife is Lithuanian too. It's always exciting to share a little bit about the culture and language with them. We invite all of you to come and celebrate with us as we prepare for our St. Casimir Lithuanian Heritage Day on Saturday, March 7th. There will be a mass at 4 p.m. at St. Michael Church on North Main Street in Avon, followed by a dinner featuring favorite Lithuanian foods, 
and a cultural program featuring some of the young dancers from the Sambodis dance group from Boston. This dance group, by the way, is the oldest in the United States and was established in 1937. One of the original dancers and lifelong member of the Knights of Lithuania, Veronica Bizankauskas, is here with us today. Woohoo! So we would love to have you join our celebration on March 7th. And please contact any one of us, and we'll be happy to give you more information. And just to note, there's a nominal charge for the dinner, but it's quite delicious and worth every penny. I will now ask my lifelong friend, Vitanis Sanuta, to talk a little bit about Admiral Fred Bakutis, a little bit about Vitanis and his parents. His parents escaped from Lithuania during World War II and eventually made it to Brockton. His dad, Václavas, was an engineer and a marvelous craftsman. Some of his artwork is on display here. So many of these carved items, we have these beautiful carvings of a Lithuanian um, knight, and uh, he was very proud of his um, American uh, heritage, being a, a naturalized American citizen. So these are all his handiworks. His, Vitanis' mom, Luda, was a teacher by training, and she worked sewing in a small factory here in Brockton, but spent Saturdays teaching Lithuanian school. She dedicated decades and decades to this, and was in fact my daughter Vilja's teacher. Luda is 99 years old, and now resides with her granddaughter in New Hampshire. Vitanis followed his father's engineering example, and is still employed by the Naval Department. I once asked him what he did there, and he said, Marita, the best way I can describe it is I keep the ships from tipping over. <laughs> and so now I'd like to introduce you to my friend Vitanis Senuta. It's a little more complicated than that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Greetings. Uh, my name is uh, uh, Vitanis Senuta. I am uh, vice president of the Knights of Lithuania, chapter one here in Brockton. Um, I would like to call attention to one distinguished uh, Brockton citizen of Lithuanian descent. He is Admiral Fred Bakutis. Uh, he had a most illustrious career. He was born in 1912 in Brockton's Lithuanian village. He graduated Brockton High and went on to the Naval Academy, where he graduated in 1935. He then went on to Pensacola Naval Air Station for aviation training. He graduated as a uh, naval aviator in 1939, then attended Naval Academy's post-grad school, graduating in 41, just in time for World War II. He was assigned to aircraft carriers Lexington and Enterprise as squadron commander of Hellcat fighter planes. He is involved in fierce dogfights. Uh, he participated in the Battle of Lady Gulf, where he is credited for shooting down 11 Japanese planes. His plane was shot down, but he ejected. He floated in a raft, realizing that the nearest land were Japanese-held islands 80 miles away near New Zealand. He floated in the raft for seven days. He drew upon his survival training in the Navy, and in an interview, uh, later with the Brockton Enterprise, uh, stated that fond memories of his hometown Brockton helped him in times of loneliness. He was eventually rescued by an American submarine. When the war ended and the Cold War began, he continued as carrier air group commanding officer for several carriers, went on to the Naval War College, commanded ships including the carrier USS Hancock. He led the Naval Task Force to recover the returning Apollo 10 astronauts. Suffice to say, he climbed the career ladder to become Rear Admiral and received numerous medals, including the Navy, Navy Cross, Legion of Merit, Distinguished Flying Cross with Gold Star, and, and others. Assigned to Operation Deep Freeze in late 1960, in the 60s, Admiral Bakutis took command of the U.S. Naval Support Forces in the Arctic and Antarctic. 
Now this is where it gets interesting. Admiral Bakutis oversaw the development and activities of 29 American weather outposts in the South Pole. Giving testimony to his eternal pride in his hometown, he ascribed the name Brockton to a brand new piece of geography, which is located at the intersection of the International Date Line and the 85 degree line of south latitude at the South Pole. Remarkably, Admiral Bakutis remains the only naval officer in history to have commanded task forces at the top and bottom ends of the world. As stated in the Plymouth County Registry of Deeds, book 1158, page 591, while serving in Antarctica, Bakutis discovered new territory and named it Brockton, USA, Antarctica, in honor of his beloved hometown. In 1967, Brockton Assistant City Solicitor Henry Frenet, representing Mayor Jack Sims, presented a time capsule containing Brockton memorabilia to Commander Robert O. Daugherty of the United States Navy. The time capsule is on site in Antarctica and is scheduled to be open in 2067. Now, further research uh, noted that the Brockton station, the weather station, was closed in 72, and it appears the coast was renamed to Bakutis Coast, uh, perhaps by the Navy. Uh, nevertheless, I propose that in the year 2067, the sitting mayor of the city of Brockton lead an expedition to Antarctica to retrieve that time capsule. Uh, uh, Admiral Bakutis passed away in uh, 2009. Uh, his uh, biography and interviews are available on the internet, such as Google search. It's an amazing, amazing person. Thank you. As the son of a, a history teacher, that I had never heard that story before. I mean, that, that's, that speaks volumes for what um, what people in Brockton do, not just for the community, not just the Commonwealth, not just the country, but beyond. That's awesome. Um, I won't be mayor in 2067. My daughter might be, or one of my boys might be, but I won't be. Um, before we conclude, and I want to thank everybody for being here, but I do want to especially recognize a birthday girl for tomorrow. If everybody could please recognize Veronica, and we'll sing happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Veronica. Happy birthday to you. Thank you again, everybody. Have a wonderful day, and God bless you all. Thank you.